Oh, hi there! I'm Matt McMasters of Bonsai Terrarium. Today I'd like to talk about this gorgeous piece of terrarium sitting right in front of me. Let me tell you a little bit more about all the painstaking effort that went into this thing. What you're looking at right here is a two-gallon jar filled with plants galore. It's also filled with lots of stones. And what's special about this terrarium is this beautiful stone retaining wall that I built painstakingly by hand. The way I built this was I started at the bottom and I actually constructed almost a peace sign really inside of the terrarium and I glued all the stones together and then I start to build my way up from the bottom. And you see there's three separate tiers inside of this terrarium. There's the bottom tier which has all the stones in it. Then if you move up to the next layer here you'll see that I've adorned it with some moss that I found in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, as well as a spider plant, which is a medium light plant, likes moisture, it'll love being inside of this two gallon jar. And then, of course, the best, the most important layer of this particular terrarium, as far as I'm concerned, is the top layer here, which is featuring a Pilea depressa. Grows right down the side of these stones that I built here, and then in the back here I put in a little bit of moss which actually just kind of worked in there perfectly the way there was this nice little space. There was a nice little gap right here and I decided to fill it in with moss and I've actually kept this terrarium very simple for the time being. You're probably thinking in your head, how do I care for a terrarium of this magnitude? Well actually it's not as hard as you think. The most important factor when you're dealing with a terrarium like this is actually the fact that it has a lid. Now the lid means that it can hold in a lot more moisture and I've already taken care of the work here by selecting plants that like moisture and they should be fine inside of a terrarium like this. Really what you have to watch out for is too much condensation around the edge of the terrarium. And it's a very simple process of taking off the lid. And all you do is leave the lid off or just leave the lid kind of cracked about halfway like this and then all your problems will go away. You might be wondering how you water a terrarium such as this. It's actually very simple. Personally. I like to go the route of the turkey baster. It allows you to get the water right down in by the roots of the plant. Right at the base so you don't get too much water on the foliage. And of course if you don't have a turkey baster lying around, and I couldn't imagine who wouldn't, you can always use a spray bottle. Be aware not to overwater your terrarium. You'll be able to tell if you've overwatered your terrarium by looking at the bottom where there's a layer of rocks. And if there's too much water down there, you'll definitely see it moving around and you're probably just going to leave the lid off your terrarium for a couple of days. Other than that, this terrarium is basically carefree, and it's just going to grow and grow and grow. And if something dies inside of this terrarium, you can always replace it. Just like real life. So that concludes this video here. I'm Matt McMasters of BonsaiTerrarium.com. Feel free to check out my other videos and my terrariums. I'll see you next time.